Hi guys, welcome back to the Code Freak channel. Freak out as you code. So let's uh, continue with our discussion on CSS. Uh, so now we'll be uh, we have finished uh, we have finished a few models here. Uh, so we have done uh, border, margin, and padding. So together as such, it's called a box model, which I forgot to mention in the last one. So uh, the text or the content, then the this part is called padding, then the border and then the margin. So all this together, it's called the box model. Okay, so now let's uh, go ahead and uh, uh, discuss about the text. So you can see there's a lot of uh, designs required for the text. So people want different things and so they have invented different things. First of all, text, you have text color, you have text alignment, text decoration, text transform, text spacing and then shadow. All right, so let's try out all of this one by one. So I think I don't want to do this one. I'll do something else. Maybe I'll try to do this or uh, yeah, I'll go for the unordered lists. So first of all, can you try to, can you guys try to remember as such, what is the tag for unordered lists? So yeah, guess it. Yeah, I guess you're correct. Oh shit. Yeah, so UL is the tag for that. So let's select UL. And then what you want to do first is uh, put text color. So text, um, text color. Okay, so actually you don't have text color. You can just put color. So we have learned that. Mm -hmm. What do you want the color? Maybe, yeah, let it be black only for now. So I'll just put black again. Okay, perfect. So when let's go back and see. So we have text alignment. I've already told you a lot about colors as such. We have a separate video there. I've uh, linked it on top. You can see that and then you can check out there. Okay. Uh, now let's uh, go to the alignment part of it, part of it. Okay. So the, you have to use the thing, uh, uh, the thing called text align. Okay. So that is the thing which you have to use. That is the thing you have to use. So you have uh, three attributes as such. So center, you can center everything. So center or left side, right side. So oh, you have all that uh, there. So you, you can just see it got centered, not the bullet points, only this. Okay, just remember that. Uh, so you can do all that. So try out all the things, guys. So let me go ahead uh, with align. So you have something called justify. Okay, so this is something nice, which I want to show you. So I'm going to do it here. Try to guess it before you kind of, uh, yeah. yeah, I want you to guess it. So think think of it in your mind. Pause the video also. So actually nothing happened here. Uh, I'll tell you the reason why. Uh, so let's try it out for the paragraph, okay? So let me uh, uh, go there to the paragraph and then do the text align. Text align, okay, perfect. Uh, let me do justify, okay? Yeah, let me save it and then you can see as to what happens here. Yeah, can you notice something? So the spacing was done in such a way that your starting is all together and your ending is also all together. So that is justify. So we'll try the other one, justify all. Okay. So yeah, let me save that. See what happens now. Actually nothing happens now. Okay, so justify as such works fine. Fine. Okay, so we have learned about text alignment also. So. Okay, so uh, let us go here and see what else is there. We have vertical align. So say you have a lot of pictures here, so you can do vertical align, top, middle, bottom. So you have uh, these three kind of things. You try it out on your own. I'm leaving it to you guys to do it. So then we we'll go to decoration. So text decoration. So let's try that out. Okay, so what are the uh, out, uh, attributes? So you can have none over line. So you can have a line over the line through and a line. So I'm going to try to do all of them. So none, you know, so I'm not going to do that. But otherwise, I'll try to do everything else. Okay, text decoration. Um, so what were they? Um, overline, line through, and underline. So you don't need to remember everything, guys. You can actually search it out on the net. Or I'll maybe put in a, a link for that document which I have made in the description so that you can access it for free. Um, so don't worry about that. Um, so let's do this. So you had, oh, again, I forgot. Let's we'll do that. Yeah, overline. Let me just, we'll just try it out, refresh it. Let's see what happens. So you get a line on top of it. Okay, actually. So then underline. So underline, you basically get, yeah, that. You know what underline is. 
and then there is another one called uh, okay, I have not saved it that's the problem here so yeah you get underline and then line through let's do that also line through so let me just refresh it yeah so you get a cross line so you can uh, actually kind of use all of these also when you are uh, doing all the text decoration so these are the basic text decorations uh, available actually you can use more there are more so there is another called anything called text transform so you can make it uppercase lowercase or you can capitalize the whole thing all right uh, so let us uh, talk about that mm. Okay, so what was it? Text transform, right? So, yeah. So, let's make it uppercase. Perfect. Okay, I'll save it and then I'll refresh it. So, you can see that whole thing turned to uppercase. Then you can try lowercase, you can capitalize. So, what what will happen when you capitalize? Come on, guess, guys. Yeah, I guess you can understand it. So, let me just uh, refresh it for you. So, yeah. Only each letter... I mean, the first letter of each word gets capitalized. So that's something which you can remember. You can always come back to this doc and refer to it. So then you have a spacing, you have line height, you have letter spacing. So the space between the letters, you have word spacing, text in it. So what will be the thing here? You can put two, uh, the PX points and all. So you can use this uh, auto length inherit percentage. So based on that, you can actually work out uh, for this thing. Okay. So don't worry about that. So let's uh, look out at the shadow. Okay. Uh, so to so I think it's text shadow. Yeah, we have it here. So so what happens with respect to the text shadow is you give uh, uh, the distance uh, from uh, towards the right. I mean, like right side is positive, downward uh, I think is positive, and then you have a three D effect. So X Y and the color. So let's uh, try out something like one P X then again 1px and then maybe uh, red color all right yeah now i'll just save it and refresh the screen so you can see actually uh, it's very minute so maybe if i put something like uh, 3px maybe you can see the difference uh, i've not saved it okay so yeah so you can see it has moved three to the right you can make it move to the left also just put minus it will work out so you can make it go down, all that you can do. You want a 3D effect also, you can do that. Maybe again, 2px. So yeah, that also works. So let's see how it looks. So it looks like a 3D smudgy kind of a thing. So it gives a full kind of a effect, all right? So the 3D effect as such, a shadow falling. So for something big as such, maybe for uh, uh, some places you may require such shadows. So you can put nice colors and you can do all that. So that's it about the text, guys. So bye-bye. Um, subscribe like and comment don't forget to do that please i'm begging you yeah bye bye